Lochi, ultimately it's ended in defeat here. Just give us your initial thoughts following that one. Um, you know, I'm going to be honest, it's disappointing. Um, bad row, I felt, I thought from the off uh, with a better side. Um, you know, I just think they dominated from the start. Um, no excuses today. The lads kept going to the end, you know, we, we kept in it, we, we managed to stay in the game, but we can't get, give, keep giving teams, especially the likes of Barrow, 2-0 lead and, and give them the space to attack us like they did. Um, so very disappointed to come all this way and, and kind of go down without a bit of a fight, to be honest. As a player yourself who's played at a higher level, you've got the experience, how much responsibility do you take now? This is maybe like the likes of you, James Dunn, those sort of players, to sort of really help us get out of this? Oh, well, I think first of all, you've got to do your job. And as a goalkeeper, especially, I've got to keep the ball out on it. Um, you know, I was tested quite a bit today, and it's one of them games where you've got to think, right, I can't get carried away or too angry because that's when you get caught out. Um, you know, undone by a good strike and, and you know, a free man, you, you kind of look at yourself and you think, well, have I done my job? I'd like to think I kept us in it a little bit today. Um, I thought JT, you know, he kept going. He, yes, he missed a chance, but he kept going. You know, I thought, you know, Dunny puts himself about, Elliot puts himself about, and yeah, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to name name names. But I think we just need that little bit more from people. I think, I think some of these players, especially if I look at the experience, I don't think some of these players realise how good they are and how much. I've just said in there, we've got some lads that are 20, 21. You know, I will name names. I think F1, I know, he went off early, but he's got the world at his feet. You know, we can have. He's, I think JT's going to have a championship career. You know, Josh, he don't score goals. I think. The sooner, the sooner they realise that, I think you know they can kick on. Um, so all I'm going to do as an experience is, is get my head, is get my arm around him and tell him, you know, I'm not going to say you're brilliant this and that. It's just, you've got to believe in yourself. And and I've said in there, everyone has their own motivations. You know, mine's, mine's my kids, and my family, and if you look at my age now. I want to play for as long as I can. I want to still be playing at 38, 39. You know, I've, you know, I've just said to him in there, lads, I'm 31. You'll soon be at my age, and you'll be you'll be wondering where it's gone. Yeah. And I think whether it's fast cars or money or lifestyle or you know kids whatever you've got to have your own motivation and use that as fire on a pitch so we mentioned it just now but it's not it's certainly not down to a lack of team spirit the boys have a great relationship off the pitch and now it's just about taking that onto the pitch now isn't it? yeah I think it's taking it onto the pitch and, and kind of transferring it into the, the fact so if if someone slips up say if Sweeney slips up I'll have to get him out of jail if I drop across Cal will get me out of jail vice versa with your full backs and I think it's one of them the strikers have got to think right I'm going to get these out and I think you, you, you know, it has a chain reaction it's alright being best mates off the pitch but we've kind of got to show it on the pitch now and um, I don't want to say be men because well, no one doesn't try but I think it's just a case of being a little using the, doing the nitty gritty and, and doing the horrible side of things you should look at you know Quigley and Kay they never stop running they put their body into things and I think if we, if we can do that and, and give our defenders a breather to get up the pitch I think we'll be more solid